to Tuesday's English video. Today and tomorrow we are going to be thinking about conjunctions. We have looked at these lots of times before but they are so important to use in our writing in year two. These are the main conjunctions we use in year two. We've got if, when, that, or, but, and, and because. And today we are going to be looking at choosing the correct conjunction for a sentence. Here we go. So let's have a read of this sentence and decide which conjunction best fits in the gap. The wild things roared their terrible roars, mmm, gnashed their terrible teeth. Pause the video and decide which of these conjunctions needs to go in the gap. Welcome back. That's it. It is and. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth. And is used when we're adding some extra information. So the first thing that the wild things did was roared their terrible roars and the second thing is they gnashed their terrible teeth. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. A boat with a red mast arrived, mm, an ocean tumbled by. Pause the video and have a think about which of these conjunctions could go in this gap. Now, I think there are actually two that would make sense. They would have slightly different meanings, but I think there are two that could work. So pause the video and see if you can work out what those two are. Welcome back. So the first one that would work is when. A boat with a red mast arrived when an ocean tumbled by. So it's telling us that these things happened at the same time. When the ocean started tumbling by, the boat arrived. The other conjunction that would work in this sentence is and. A boat with a red mast arrived and an ocean tumbled by. So and is just adding some extra information. So we're saying that this happened and this happened. And this is the last one that we're going to do together. Max wore a wolf suit, mm, had pointy ears. Pause the video and have a think about which of these conjunctions needs to go in the gap. Off you go. Welcome back. The conjunction that goes in this gap is that. Max wore a wolf suit that had pointy ears. That is when we're adding some extra information about something. So here we're adding some extra information about the wolf suit and we are saying that it has pointy ears. Well done if you got that one right. So today we are learning to use conjunctions correctly and the reason is so that our writing makes sense. If we choose the wrong conjunction, then our sentences just don't quite sound right and they don't make sense. So to be successful with using conjunctions, we need to know what each of these conjunctions means and when we should use each one. So let's start with if and when. These two conjunctions are quite similar. We use them both when something depends on something else happening. When is used when it's a, something to do with the time that these things happen. And if is used to say whether or not the other thing is going to happen. But is used when there's some kind of opposite going on. You might be saying something good, but something bad. Something happy, but something sad. That 
is used when we're adding more detail and it's often more detail about a specific thing, a noun that has just been mentioned in the first part of the sentence. Or is used when there are options to choose between and just adds more information and you are all really good at using and because you learnt that one in year one. And the last one is because, and we use because when we are giving a reason for something. And you are also really good at that one because you learnt that one in year one as well. So your challenge for today is to fill in the gaps with the correct conjunction. Some of them might have more than one option. It would slightly change the meaning of the sentence, but some of them do have two options. If you are finding this a little bit tricky, then go back and have a look at the bronze activity because there are some choices to choose from. So you've got two options and you pick which one you think fits the sentence the best. If you have whizzed through that sheet, then why not have a go at the gold challenge? You can write your own sentences about where the wild things are using conjunctions. And for an extra challenge, you can make your sentences even more interesting with adverbs and adjectives. Good luck with your English today and I will be back tomorrow with another video. Bye!